school reception, year one and year two. And uh, today I'm going to be reading you a story, Mr. Davis. I hope you get as much pleasure listening to this story as I'm going to get reading it. I really miss reading stories to you. It's one of my favorite things to do and something I've really missed about school being closed. So just to remind you, if you want to see the videos again, they're all on YouTube. So you can ask your parents to go back and find them. They are all there and you can have a look at them again. If you want to tell us about your favorite one, please do. You could do this by recording it and emailing it directly to me or putting it up on Class Dojo and asking your teacher to send it to me as well. That would be great. So today is Monday. Monday's story is going to be Spider, the world's smallest secret agent by Matt Carr. So let's have a look. Spider by Matt Carr. It was a special day at number seven Fleming Road. Little Tom Webster's birthday was about to get started and everyone was excited, especially Spider, the world's smallest secret agent who lived in the loft. She loved birthdays. In her penthouse flat, Spider had just put her feet up, which takes quite a while when you've got eight legs. Suddenly her spy phone rang. Ring, 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 ring. I wonder who it could be. Ring, ring. It was headquarters with an urgent message. Spider leapt into action. Hello, 008. This naughty fellow has just entered your airspace. If he reaches the kitchen, Tom's precious birthday cake could be ruined. On my way, boss. You know I never like to miss a party. Code name: Blue Bottle. Top secret file. Blue Bottle has see-through wings, very cheeky attitude, big bulgy eyes, and six hairy legs. And here's some facts about Blue Bottle. Loves, she loves sweet treats, especially cake. Also likes eating rubbish and other stinky stuff. Ugh. Carries around quite a few germs around which you wouldn't want on your birthday cake. Yuck. And definitely not invited to the party. Spider quickly packed her spy kit and set off. In her spy kit, she packed binoculars, a banana, a spy camera, a top secret laser pen, a newspaper, a flask of tea, and a disguise. Just getting around the house was a near impossible mission, but that didn't bother Spider. Danger was her middle name. Actually, it's Dorothy. Soon she came face to face with her first obstacle, a huge, strange, hairy creature with terrible breath. It's too big to be a fly, she thought. I wonder what it could be. What do you think it is? Phew, it was only Douglas, the family pooch. It was a dog. Sorry, my furry friend, no time to chat. I spy a naughty fly. Stop right there, Mr. Bottle. No can do, Spider. I've got a date with a cake. Blue Bottle was heading for the bathroom. Spider gave chase, but she didn't notice a thudding sound that was getting louder. I wonder what that thudding could be. Watch out! Danger was afoot. After the close shave with Mr. Webster's sock of doom, Spider decided she'd be safer higher up. There's that bothersome Blue Bottle. Cooey! Spider swung down but could not see the pesky pest anywhere until Blue Bottle zoomed down and knocked poor Spider into the bath. Ouch! Spider landed on her bottom with a thump. Blue Bottle chuckled. He knew bats were the one place spiders had trouble getting out of. Ha ha! Now I'm off to have my cake and eat it. The fly was really starting to bug me, sighed Spider. How is he going to get out of this bath? Hmm, what could he do? Just then, Spider's phone beeped again. For your eyes only, Blue Bottle is on his way to the kitchen. Cake in danger. You must hurry. She looked around the tub for an escape route, and there it was. Quick, Spider, there's no time to lose. Safely out of the bathtub, Spider whizzed downstairs as fast as she could. I love my job. In the kitchen, Blue Bottle was circling hungrily. Spider would have to think on her feet. Luckily, she had lots of them. Tom's cake looked splendid. Blue Bottle was sure to spot it soon. Spider threw out a fine silk line and bravely climbed across. She spun a super strong web and then she waited with her newspaper. You can see her little eyes poking out. She's still keeping a lookout for, for the Blue Bottle. Yum! Happy birthday to me! Blue Bottle spied the cake and dived down at top speed, straight into the spider's sticky web. Boing! Oh bother! 
Spider has saved the day and the cake. Sorry, my friend, the party's over. You win, Spider. I suppose I'd better buzz off. She cleared away her web, and soon the cake was as good as new. Mission a clump, a clump, a clumpish. I said that incorrectly. Mission accomplished. Ring, ring. Miss Money Spider was on the phone. Well done, Spider. I'm sure the Websters will be very, very happy. Ah, a spider. Or maybe not. And here's some spider facts that you can like, think about from the Spider Facts website. Strung. A spider's web may look thin and flimsy, but is in fact very strong. A spider's silk is even stronger than steel. Wow, like your knives and forks are sometimes made of steel. Scary. The fear of spiders is called arachnophobia. But spiders are actually a lot more scared of humans. Speedy. Some spiders are very fast indeed, and they could run even faster than a car if they were the same size as us humans. And super size. Spiders come in all sizes, all shapes, and all shapes. Some can even throw as big as this book. Wow, that would be a big spider. Tee hee, and I thought flies had a hard time. And then you can see Spider using his laser pen to get out of the glass. Ooh, and if you like this book, there's another book by Matt Carr called Superbat. So that was today's story, Monday's story, Spider, the world's smallest secret agent by Matt Carr. And just remember, if you want to listen to us, watch any of these stories again, they are all on YouTube. Thank you, and I'll see you tomorrow. No, I won't.